with another video and in today's video we are going to be doing a Indian healing clay mask commonly known as the Benonite clay mask I'm so excited I've heard so many good things about this clay and I just can't wait to get started I'm gonna be using it with um, apple cider vinegar I think you can use it with water as well but I think if you use it with apple cider it uh, kind of bounces it it balances it out <clears throat> it kind of neutralizes it so i'm going to use it with the um, apple cider vinegar so if you want to see how this bitter night clay does on my hair just keep watching all right you guys in this clip i'm just showing you how i make the bennonite clay so i'm going to give you some benefits of the bennonite clay it draws out toxins impurities and residual hair products from your hair Hair it comes out super clean. It doesn't strip your hair. Helps open hair cuticles so that um, your moisturizing product can get into your hair before it closes. It also helps to fines hair and aids in clumping hair. Helps to tame frizz and flyaways. It also helps your hair become stronger and shinier. It has some ingredients which include silicone, silicone protein, calcium, and iron. Um, it also can help with scalp problems such as dandruff. And um, so, yeah, I'm just um, mixing it with apple cider vinegar and I'm just pretty much eyeballing it and getting it to the consistency that I want to get it to. And then some benefits of the apple cider vinegar is it balances hair and scalp pH. Yes, your hair does have pH. It's about five, which is slightly acidic. It helps prevent prevents fungal and bacterial growth. It also clarifies and exfoliates the scalp. It removes dead skin and buildup, and it also stimulates hair growth. Here, I am just adding some more apple cider vinegar. As you can see, uh, I'm just trying to get it to the consistency that I want to get it to. Not too runny and not too thick. So that is pretty much the consistency that I'm trying to get it to. I did want to let you guys know that I did almost run out. So if you have longer, thicker hair than me, then you may want to make more of this. But I was determined to not um, have to make any more of this. So yeah. And yes, look at those little fingers. He just took them out of there. He, he feels like he has to be included in everything. guys I'm back as you can see I have freshly washed hair not really freshly but I just watched it washed it because I saw a few videos that say to start on wet hair I did not shampoo my hair this is not cleansed hair I am actually using the bentonite clear clay as a clarifying shampoo and that is one of the uses that you can use it for as you can see I'm dripping I have water everywhere but um so my hair is wet. If it tends to get dry by the time I get to my other areas, I will just use my spray bottle to re-wet it. But at this point, I am just going to go ahead and, and start this first section with my hair some more. Let you guys see how it feels in this first section, and then we will go from there. I did hear that it was um, very messy. So... I'm just going to get started. I do have a um, towel on the floor. So, yeah, as I'm um, putting it in my hair, it does feel a little stripping. But from the videos that I have watched, I heard that that's what it feels like going on your hair. And then when you wash it off, your hair feels good. So, we'll see. So I'm just going to finger detangle through my hair because my hair has not been detangled in any kind of way. So, yeah, I just want to make sure that it is on every strand. So that is what I'm doing now. Some uses of the Benonite clay you can use before or after braids, sewing, straightening hair, just to refresh hair and clarify hair. Um, as you can see, I am spraying my hair with water and then I am going in with the Benonite clay. I do just want to put a disclaimer that my hair was not, not detangled before I used the Benonite clay. And then um, from the feeling of it on my hair, it seemed like it would be a little hard for me to 
detangle with the comb. So as you can see, I am just going through pulling apart my hair pretty much trying to detangle with my fingers, which was um, I did not like. So, um, yeah. Make sure to get those um, roots just to make sure every um, strand of your hair is covered because if you want to do this treatment, you want to make sure that all your hair is covered and every strand get some bentonite clay on it. Alright guys, I'm back and this is my hair all washed um, after the bentonite clay mask. My curls are clumped. Um, I can't really see the back side of my hair to see you know, what it looks like, but this is what my hair is looking like right now. Um, I think it clumped my curls pretty good. Like It has a good little curl definition. It did help refresh my curls. So if you are having any issue with, you know, look, look, and this is no product on my hair. No product is on my hair. So if you're having any issues with, you know, your curls not popping or not coming through, you might want to try a bit of my clay mask and see how that works in your hair. Um, it does feel soft. I do want to let you know that I did follow up with a moisturizing shampoo and detangling. I used this afterwards just to make sure that I got all the clay out of my hair because I didn't let it uh, sit on my hair for a while. Um, I let it sit actually two hours. Time got away from me. I don't know if that's what I supposed to did. But I did. Um, I sat on there for two hours. It was pretty much dry when I, um, when I washed it out. So, you know, once it dries, do not mess your hair. Do not try to manipulate your hair. You're likely going to lose some hair if you if you do that, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, my my curls are clump. Like look, look, look at these curls. This is what you mean by clump curls. They just they just go to. Um, yeah, I just wanted to come on and let you see my hair. And um, if you have any um, questions, leave them down in the comment. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. I am in my car and I came out to get some food and I just wanted to show you what I have in my hair. And like I still have clay in my hair. Look, this this right here is from this guy was cutting grass and he was just putting the grass all in my yard. But look, I got clay out now. I knew I had clay here all on my neck and stuff now i mind you i wash my hair with shampoo so i'm just thinking that it's um residue from the leave-in that i put in my hair but hell no it is clay in my hair in my hair still in my hair now I, like i told you i washed it out I still have clay look in my hair. So you know what's gonna happen with that clay, you guys? That clay's gonna stay in there. I am not rinsing that clay out. I've done my hair 
for at least three days. I'm, it's, it's gonna stay in here. But I just wanted to come. I just wanted to come and let you guys see that if you guys do the clay mask, to make sure that you get all of the product out of your hair before you go to style your hair. Do not make my mistake and um, leave some of the product in your hair. Make sure you wash it all out. Make sure you you thoroughly check your hair and make sure that it's all washed out. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, come on here and just say that. So yeah, have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.